you suckers. I had to come back, man, because it was showing some of my, my you know, my last bar, my MasterCard. Some of you motherfuckers are smart, man, so I ain't trying to fuck around. You know? So, there we go again, man. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut a little bit of the oil. Yeah, nigga, just some of y'all, some of y'all just too smart, man. You see? Ten five. You see? You see when it's bought? Nike night. They give you this big old ass box. Look at this box right here, man. Look at that box. God damn. Come on. They get inside. They gonna give you these bags and shit. Of course they gonna give you all the bags because God damn it, the box too goddamn big for this shit. Look at that. So you gonna get that big ass box? Well, you might get the smaller ones. I got a couple of night ones. You might get the smaller ones because I ain't, you know, all this shit, the more heavier, the more money they charge. So, you know, we ain't going to be doing all that. We'll see if I'm going to give you that box. I might give you another night box. I got more. All right, daddy. All right, baby. Now, we're going to get off of that. <coughs> we're going to uh, take a look at the merchandise right here. And uh, <laughs> see the box. The box is nice. On the pure money, fours, Jordan. Jordan, Jordan in the house. Jordan! Ever watch uh, The Honeymoon? Like Norton and Norton. Bang, zoom! Put this right here, boy. Hey, I'm seeing that little tumble look right here. These shit looking all right, man. I might just keep these suckers for myself. Look at this shit. Matter of fact, wow. All right, baby. I only got one. You know, look, we're blessed to have two hands. So, nope, just gotta take our time to maneuver shit a little bit. This is where you can play with yourself or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Run and go take a little quick, quick spit. Whatever you gotta do, goddamn it. And now we back. We are back. And <laughs> check it out. First of all, this is dedicated to one of a uh, person who just came on to my channel. And he watched the foam, not the foam, uh, the Nike Bonafide, the Nike Flight Bonafides. And let's say, let's let me, let's just see what he said. Is this still there? All right. That's his name. Hey, Mr. Raffle, why does it seem like a scam? So, I don't know if he was saying that because, you know, Maybe you don't know that uh, I was doing it for a dollar at one time and uh, nobody jumped onto it. I was surprised. I did two dollars for two pairs of the Robins that came out that, at that time, the colorway, on size 12. <laughs> Nothing. I was surprised. I was like, hey, even if they thought it was like, you know, a scam for a dollar or two, you know, it's like, hey, it's, it's, just figure me as a bum, you know? Like, hey, you know, when you go out in the street and you're like, hey, you know, they go that bum, give them a dollar or two, get the fuck out of here. See, you can get the fuck out of here. This, you know, could they just gave it to me, get the fuck out of here. But I was really doing this shit for real. So somebody was going to win. And then once they would have saw the raffle live and realized, oh shit, this motherfucker is telling the truth, man. This motherfucker is telling the fucking truth. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. He's telling the truth. Tommy, he's telling the truth, Tommy. Gerald, pay attention. He's telling the truth. These are nice, man. This here, some plastic shit. This plastic. You see what I'm saying? Plastic. But look nice. Take your time with that, too. You know, don't go all crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't go all crazy. You're pulling, the sh you know, pulling it all tight and shit. You got to take your time. You got to do that casual shit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tongue, tongue. See, one of my lights is going now. I'm getting pissed off. I don't know which one it is. Hey, they both looking there. I don't know why it's looking so dull in there. But... They all right, bro. They are okay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And you see they give me that tag there. And what I'm going to do for Mr. Project, I'm going to make this back a dollar. Everybody know how much these were. We gonna need uh, at least 200 uh, entries of a dollar. I'm gonna do this for a dollar. 10 and a half. What you can do is buy nine entries. Buy $20 worth of entries. Then increase your odds, buy $10 worth. I'll do it like that. 
Ten in the head, dead stuck, dead stock, ten in the head. You get the night, and I'm gonna tell you what to say at night, so you don't be throwing me under no bus and none of that stuff, you know? It's just me giving you the legit stuff that I have here that I'd rather not send back or keep all the time. Get it? See that Jordan upside down? I ain't really pulling all that shit out, man. Leave that for the people. The time I pull this out, you know this was going back. Unless I was keeping it, you know? So, we'll save it for them. But something's in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You want to take a little peekaboo? I see that little silver. That little silver shimmy is nice. And just leave it like that. I don't want to fuck up the people's shit. There's something in that motherfucker, all right? All right, buddy. This one we won't see. Let me see how that shit look, dude. Let me see. You got any bumper scumps or anything? Nope. No bumper scumps. <laughs> None of that. It look all right, the leather. You know what I'm saying? It's imitating, you know, tumble, tumble. Feels soft. You know? It's all right. But hey, if you get it for a dollar, <laughs> somebody's going to win it now. I don't know who's going to win. You give me, you put your name, when you pay Google Wallet, you put on your uh, on the note the name. So when you do it 20 times or whatever one, because you got to use a debit card, the way you do it, you just put 20 different names. And when I shake it up live, daddy, see, we could do this tonight. We could do this tonight. We could do this tomorrow. If you get the entries, 200 for 10.5 sneakers, 10.05. So I tend to have. Had a little dumb spell for a minute. Alright? Now that's what it is. One dollar. Let's shout out Projects and Said, because he got me back to trying it one more time. So Projects and Said, hopefully you're a ten and a half, because this would be good for you, Daddy. But check out the video anyway. And hopefully we will get to see, get uh, hit the bell. So if we get live and we actually get one popping, whoo wee! All right, Daddy. I'm going to leave it on that note. All right, Daddy? If you want the real, you deal with me. Let me tell you something. They got the fakes out for these shits. But let me tell you something. You got to hope it go through custom. The, air, the, the, the market out there, they are charging more. That's what I see. I see some of them, they be trying to say, hey, hey, I don't understand all that shit, so AAA. And, and so, listen, I just always felt when it uh, when it came to fakes, the best quality for the cheapest fucking dirtiest price. Cheapest fucking dirt cheap price. You know what I'm saying? I see now to me what it looked like to me, they're trying to get half price, half of the price of the sneaker, where to me, you can't do no moves. I would never, I don't do it. Now, if I ever get one, I, I won't do the allegedly what they were talking about with Brody Trump. Because me, I would tell you it's fake. There's no need. Let me tell you something. Even when I gave it for $20, some of the shits when I was giving Gucci for $10. If it was fake, you was good, baby. $10. You ain't getting $10 from them Asian dudes. Go check them, bro. Go check it. <laughs> they ain't doing it for $10, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? So, it would have been a steal anyway, but me, I'm giving you where you can get it from. I'm, I'm telling you night, baby, and I'm giving you the receipts. Everything I give you is the receipts, plus I'm going to tell you the real, because there's no need to fake. That's The ones that succeeded in that fake shit, they just keep it real. It's fake. That's how i always been, too. If it's fake, it's fake. I'm dealing with real. <laughs> That's it. I was dealing with real from the giddy up. Then I started realizing that they were doing fakes. I didn't think they were doing fakes up until I started learning them. I came in here as a fan. I came here. That's why I said I'm staying. I came here as a fan. I started learning it. I started saying, okay, boom. Oh, oh they, they be going crazy for sneakers up on here for certain ones. So if you get it, you can make a certain money. So I used to try to get it. Then I realized that they wasn't buying shit the way they kept on advertising that, hey, once you get in and all that. Cause plus, you got a lot of fakes and all kinds of shit. So fuck up the market. Fuck everything up to me. Yeah, you don't know what's stuff. And I understand it because I wouldn't know, understand it either. I wouldn't normally mess with certain stuff. That's why I try to make it for the dollar. But then when it wasn't working, I realized, yo, they're not caring even for a dollar. They're not worrying about the money. They don't want to mess with it. So then I said, hey, let me just find a couple of people. That's why I started going to the $20 and $10. I said, hey, forget about that. Maybe if I get like five, six, seven, eight, ten people, 15 people, hey, once 
they start working, everybody see the lives. I know everybody gonna mess with it. It's just the beginning. So you know that's what it is. And so to answer your question, the reason why it might look like a scam because others probably did whatever way they chose to do it. I'm doing it my way. <laughs> they don't think like me. It's like I don't think like them. You see what I'm saying? If just keep it real. Y'all yeah, made this system, the, not you personally, but the community of Sneaker Channel, they made it where they, the big channels run everything. If they don't give you the okay, you don't go up. If you want to learn for thing, here's an example. Damn D, he came out. He had a lot of sneakers he was showing that day. I watched the video. I didn't really think it was nothing big difference. I was like, hey, he got a lot of sneakers. Everybody kept saying, yo, he should get a channel. He should get a channel. He should get a channel. Boom. He went and got the channel. He was on scoop. He went and got this channel. And next thing you know, boom. Shout out of nowhere. He got 50,000 people now. Boom. T. Ward from with, with, with Mike Rich camp. Mike Rich doing his thing. T. Ward always in his video. He always in the video. Soon later, he went and made his video like a year later, eight months, whatever it was. Two videos, the first two videos, he had 5,000 some subscribers, 6,000, something like that. Bro, I've been doing this for a year. Damn D started in January doing it. I started doing my own shit in March. I caught the Masters. That was where I started off doing my, um, trying to sell it back, being a reseller. It was with the Masters. That's what was my problem. And then in the beginning, what happened was I used to put my links on everybody's channel who I used to watch. So I was watching um, Hess Kicks. So Hess Kicks, I used to put my thing on Hess Kicks. After a while, he made a video saying about anybody that tells you to use on, on PayPal gift, don't mess with it. And I figured he was doing that to me.